My name is Gary the Numbers Guy, and in this video we'll be discussing the Year of the Dragon, 2012. A lot of people don't understand Chinese astrology that well in the West. Well, we'll see if they, we can change that a little bit. But before I go any further, let me make one disclaimer. Numerology supersedes any form of astrology, whether it be Chinese, Indian, Western, or Vedic. It doesn't matter. That's why all the signs are numbered. But having said that, astrology is a very useful tool. Before I was a numerologist, you best, you best believe I was an astrologer. So let's get started. The year of the dragon and what that means. First of all, if you're born in the year of the dragon, 1964, 1976, 1988, 2000, and 2012, well obviously no one's been born yet, but if you're born in the year of the dragon, believe me, you are one lucky SOB because being a dragon is the luckiest sign there is. You don't believe me, just ask someone in the year of the dragon. Um, people who are born in the year of the dragon have very, very quick tempers, and that's what the uh, flame from the dragon symbolizes, their quick temper, but they don't really stay mad for long. See, dragons get mad quick, and they cool off quickly, and they do not hold grudges, unlike other signs. People who are born in the year of the dragon are in leadership uh, positions. Uh, here's Vladimir Putin, the longest serving leader of a uh, powerful country. <laughs> I'm not talking about some African country. I'm talking about the largest country in the world. And Mr. Putin, the former head of the KGB, yes, is a dragon. And believe me, if you're around people who are born in the year of the dragon, you're going to know exactly what they are. Because whether they're a man or whether they're a woman, because believe me, women born in the year of the dragon are tougher than 90% of the guys out there. Period. Women who are born in the year of the dragon usually wear the, wear, wear the pants in the relationship too. It's that simple. Um, quick temper is usually a very strong to a muscular build. And people in the dragon, born in the year of the dragon, have heart. Kevin Durant, born 1988, the future superstar of the NBA, a guy who will win multiple championships before his career is over. And unlike the guy behind him, born in the year of the rat, yes, Kevin Durant has a lot of heart. But the people who are going to be doing good in the year of the dragon are not just people born in the year of the dragon. The people who are born in the year of the rat, 1972, 1984, 1996, you can expect a good year because the dragon is one of your best friends in the zodiac. And what do I mean by that? Basically, every 12 years, the earth releases certain energy that's compatible with some people and not compatible with others. And we'll get to that. But... If you're born in the year of the rat, unless your numerology or karma dictates otherwise, expect to have a little above average year. If you're born in the year of the monkey, 1968, 1980, 1992, 2004, you can also expect a good year. Because the monkey is also one of the dragon's better friends. And of course, the snake. The snake is the brains and the dragon is the brawn, the reptilians of the zodiac. And if you're born in 1989, 2001, and going back every 12 years, you can also expect a good year in the year of the dragon. But see, as some people have good energy, some people, mm, they just ain't doing too well. Because whether you're an uh, animal and just happen to be a dog, or whether you know you have a dog, or whether you're born in the year of the dog, like George W. Bush. Um, I'm sorry to tell you, but 90% of you guys are going to be in for a tough, tough year. So a few predictions I will make. George Bush, born in 1946, will be in the news with health problems. Bill Clinton, born 1946, might have health problems, could be a scandal, but something's going to break with these guys. If you're a sports fan, people born in 82, unless it's the very beginning of the month in January, which isn't a dragon, which is still a cat, you know, it, the Chinese zodiac switches every year at different times. But if majority of the players who are born in 1982, like Cleveland Indians star Sin Su Chu, are going to have off years. If you're a fan of New York Knicks, <laughs> sorry, Omari Stoudemire born in 82, yeah, he's going to have a tough year as in most people born in 1982. The best advice I can give people born in 82, the energy's not with you this year. So what do you do? Minimize your risk. 
play very conservative this year. And that's the best way to do it. Another thing to expect in the year of the dragon is the rise of China. China is known as the dragon. And believe me, there is a big, big reason why. I mean, if you really think about it, dragons and uh, dogs are enemy signs. And if you go into China, yeah, they kind of eat dogs there. Um, what to, You have to understand that the dragon is not a diplomat. The dragon is not someone who's into signing peace treaties. The dragon is into doing things and doing it by force if he has to. And it's very, very easy to see that the energies in the air, especially since this is a five-year numerology too, universal year 2012 adds up to a five, you're going to see a lot of concentration this year. Iran, that's going to be a major focal point this year. India, Pakistan, that's going to be another major focal point going all the way to 2003. So yes, in the year of the dragon, expect a lot of conflict because dragons sure as hell are not diplomats. You can always tell a dragon because they're always barking orders, telling people what to do. And that's just the way they are. They don't understand any better. Trust me about this. They don't get it. The best way to deal with someone born in the year of the dragon is basically to put an idea in his head and make him think, or her make him think, they came up with it. That's the best way to deal with dragon. Dragons are the most powerful signs in the whole Chinese zodiac. So having said that, I'm going to make another video about all what every single sign means but like I said if you're born in the year of the rat the year of the monkey you're the dragon you're the snake expect a pretty good year unless you're in numerology and karma dictate otherwise if you're born in the year of the dog 1970 1982 1994 well hey it happens to everyone every th every 12 years so it's your turn guys like I said play conservatively and you do very well again my name is Gary the numbers guy and this is what to expect in the year of the dragon.